Hello everyone and welcome to another Plexus 2D tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to model a flexible circular footing. So let's get started and we can go to the model tab here. And the model will be changed to axis symmetry since we are modeling a circular footing. And X max will be set to 5 meters and Y max will be set to 4 meters according to the tutorial. And the constants and cloud services page is left as is. So click on OK. If you made a mistake in setting up any one of those settings there, you can just go to this uh, properties tab here. And you can find all these settings here as we've seen earlier. So now most of the setup will be similar to the previous video on rigid footing. So I'll quickly create the soil profile. Top will be 4 meters high. The head will be meters for our hydrostatic head and for the materials I can just import from the show global menu here and if I've already uploaded my soil model I can just import it in here and therefore I can just assign the material fast and easy and once we go to the structures tab, this is where things change quite a bit. We are no longer using the create prescribed displacement. Instead, we are using a create structure option here, and we are using the create plate option. Uh, hit escape twice if you don't see the uh, cross. So create structure, create plate. It, now, it, now you can see the uh, cross there, so you can easily use it to draw the so we'll be drawing from 0, 4 to 1, 4 and we'll be prescribing a load on top of this plate. So to do that, we can just go to the create load button and click on create line load. Left click at 0, 4 and left click at 1, 4. And you can just keep the load at this uh, value right now. But if you've read the tutorial ahead, you will see that the value is minus 188 here. So if you don't mind changing it, so you can just change it early on. And now we need to model our, our flexible footing. And we need to model the axial and bending stiffness. To do that, just go to the show materials button here. And click on this drop down and select plates. Click on new and scrolling up a bit we can see the material properties of the footing. So it is set to elastic here and set to isotropic. This means that the axial stiffnesses in two directions will be the same. So I'll just quickly name this as circular uh, sorry flexible circular footing so EA will be 5 million so 6 EI your bending stiffness will be 8500 and weight and mu weight and mu uh, weight and portions ratio will be 0 and prevent punching will be left unpicked. So click on OK once you've already set all these settings here. And click OK again. To, to uh, assign a material to our plate, all we need to do is right click and go to the plate section and set material. Now we go to the meshing phase and all we need to do is just press on this button here, generate mesh. And the medium setting is used for this tutorial. And it's already done. We can skip the flow condition since we are using a drain analysis for sand. And now to the stage construction phase, we just need to add an add another phase here. So click on this plus button here. And in phase one, we need to go and activate the line load and or our line load and our footing. Then the next step would be to just quickly check whether or not the settings are correct for phase one. 
So it says in the notes that we must use the plastic calculation type and the loading type will be stage construction. So we already have these set correctly already, so we can just click on OK. And now we need to go and set, uh, sorry, now we need to go and select a point for curves. So we need to go and select point 0.0, .0 and 4.0. So just click on select points for curves. Click on agree. Continue. So zero and zero. Yeah. So we'll basically be selecting a zero comma four and click on update. So this select points or curves is meant for you to go and use a specific point plot a graph. So now that that's done, we can just click on calculate. It shouldn't take long. And once it's already done, we can just go and click on view calculation results, click on agree and continue. So now that the output tab is already open and it says we should use the view calculation results and it's already done. So now that we can see the output tab now, it says that we should try select the structures button here on the left and that we should double click on the footing and a new window should appear but this does not seem to work for me. Yeah, in, the, in the end I just see this instead so I just see the displacement and it's about the same as the value that we obtained from the previous video but there's only a slight difference since uh, this is not describing a displacement already we are calculating the displacement based on the load that was applied on the foundation rather than prescribing a displacement already this modeling method is far more superior to plot a curve of load against displacement you just need to click on curves manager here click on new and for the x-axis we'll just use the node and we'll use this uh, axis to display the total displacement as shown here and in the y-axis we'll be using m stage so if you read here m stage is the proportion of the specified changes that has been applied so the value zero the value will range from zero to one and one hundred percent means that uh, the prescribed load has been fully applied and the prescribed ultimate state has been fully reached so you can just click on ok here and we've already plotted our graph and you can see this small dent over here in this example's uh, graph and that's it for this video today i do hope that you find this useful and as always if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and do share it with your colleagues and consider subscribing to my channel it's free goodbye